January. You were both interesting, yet unremarkable. You started the year off strong, encountered some dips along the way, and then slowly fizzled out. Honestly, I can't say that I'm surprised. I do have commitment issues after all. Well, with myself at least. It always felt so contradicting how I would move heaven and earth for the ones I love. Yet the hardest person to show up for has always been myself. Cue the flurry of positive affirmations, self-love anthems, soul-healing mantras, whoop-de-whoop. -whoop. I thought things would be different this time around, but I found myself in a similar self-sabotaging loop. You should be thankful for what you have. You should be more productive. You should take care of yourself better. You should be better than this. Diagnosis? The classic case of the shoulds. Symptoms include self-worth declining, negative thought loops, lingering sadness, etc. Treatment? Undetermined. Real talk? I never truly felt like I had a voice in this world. It was the most peaceful when I adhered to the rule of speak when spoken to. My guess is that people liked me because I was basically a mirror. And well, quite frankly, most people like themselves. I was a personal echo chamber, if you will. Don't get me wrong, I had my opinions and by no means was I a pushover. But I felt happiest when everyone around me was comfortable, even if it was at my own expense. Eventually, it got to the point where my discomfort was expected and I was not my own. I can see how some might consider that as inauthentic. Others might label it as fawning or people-pleasing, but I call it death by a thousand paper cuts. Over time, there was no distinction between my voice and those I cared about. So this is a marshmallow. I have a gas oven, so I'm gonna try roasting it over the fire. I felt as though up was down, blue was right, yellow was left. Nothing made sense anymore. My intuition was buried so deeply, and all I had was a silly, pathetic little plastic spade. Oh, shoot. I felt cornered, broken, abandoned, and misunderstood. I freaked out and spun out of control. I had no sense of safety mm -hmm. or reality. All I knew was that I wanted out. Round two. Oh, is there something in the middle? Yeah. Mm. I haven't um, read the description yet. <laughs> so I already <laughs> technically opened this. Uh, <laughs> but I'm gonna pretend like I, I repackaged it to reopen. <laughs> um, un momento. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I stopped by Sally's to find. Like the, I saw on TikTok some apparently really good nail glue um, for press on nails. Come you ready? You ready? You ready? Wait, wait, wait. Come here. Oh, you got it off. You got it off. There he is. <laughs> Come here. Come here, Wait. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> gentle, gentle, gentle. Come here, Buster, come here. Come here. <laughs> you can have a bite, gentle. Oh. Perception is such a funny thing. Not haha -ha funny, of course, but the ironic kind. The more I asked people questions, <laughs> the more alone I felt. And the world continued to make less and less sense to me. back-to-back -back realizations had opened a crashing cascade of more unknowns. I became obsessed with trying to find an answer. To what? Fuck if I know. But that's what I was doing. Something felt off, and I needed to get to the bottom of it. I'll admit that I took an unconventional route, which ultimately led to people calling me crazy. In my defense, a lot of things appear crazy without the proper context. I naturally already struggle a lot with verbalizing my thoughts, so being in survival mode certainly didn't help. Boy, if you don't- I'm not here to victimize myself or blame anyone. I'm simply here to tell my story and maybe just maybe, I can help someone else out there feel a little less lonely with their story. I keep asking myself, Touch. what's the point of all this anyway? Will I ever stop ruminating on the same thoughts? Am I terrified to try again? Or is it my fear of failure flaring up again? <laughs> is there even a difference? Golly. Will this feeling of existential dread ever come to an end. I will put a fit together for this look as well to kind of tie it all in. BRB. I really wish I could tell you I figured out the perfect formula to fulfillment or happiness or that I don't struggle with basic daily tasks anymore. <laughs> but I can't. Not yet anyway. But here's to hoping and trying again with February. Thanks for stopping by, and until next time. Or Mr. Wow. Guards. All day. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe I just recorded that.